hello everyone welcome back to my channel in my last video i have covered tenant allow block list how you can override microsoft verdict and how you can bypass the email from exchange online protection in this video i am going to show you how we can check the spoof email how you can whitelist any spoofed email in the exchange online protection and by design all inbound emails are automatically protected against the spoof email you don't need any special license when a sender spoof an email address then they appears to be user in one of your organization's domain when attacker who spoof senders to send a spam or phishing email need to be blocked but there are scenario where the legitimate sender are spoofing so we need to whitelist those so how so legitimate scenario for spoofing for internal domains i'll give you a few example where the third party sender use your domain to send bulk email to your company pools and the second example where the external company generates uh, or sends advertisement or a product update on your behalf so that time the sender use your domain or domain user to send out an uh, email notification you can use the spoof intelligence insight in the microsoft 365 defender portal and to quickly identify spoof sender who are the legitimate sending you an authenticated email uh, unauthenticated emails means they are not uh, checked uh, or they are not passed SPF, DKIM, DMARC records and but still we need to bypass those so how we can uh, create a spoof allow list so I'll quickly I will show you how you can access the spoof portal uh, spoof portal you can access from the security.microsoft.com and uh, under the tenant under the policy rules threat policies and tenant allow block list and in the same portal there is a second tab about second tab spoofed senders in this you can see you can create add and uh, create allow a sender list for a spoof okay if if any email is marked as a spoofed and that you can check from the here uh, see the spoof domain over the la over the past seven days and when you click on this it will open the spoof intelligence portal and here you will see the all the reports if any incoming email is marked as a spoofed and you can check here and then if you want to allow specific thing then you can come here back to the spoofed sender and create a add allow list now here is the interesting thing is if you want to uh, whitelist any internal sender or external and how you can allow and block list you can create this here from this page i can create a pair for example I have a domain security uh, easyfirstsecurity.com and uh, I am getting most of the emails from this public IP. This IP is uh, uh, belongs to external company, third party company and uh, their infrastructures uh, public IP is this and from this IP whatever the emails coming to the uh, easyfirstsecurity.com those emails uh, was marking as a spoofed so now I'm creating a whitelist here allow list so now from now on uh, any emails coming from this to easyfirstsecurity.com those emails will not mark as a spoofed and there is another example if I want to just whitelist one domain a mole at the rate uh, easyfirstsecurity.com this is my email and then i want to whitelist from the salesforce.com if any emails coming from if any salesforce uh, sending email to my id salesforce using amol at the security.com to send out any email you know our organization internal organization that time email was getting spoofed because emails coming from the salesforce.com but the email ids they are using to send email that is amol at the rate easyfirstsecurity.com so in that case uh, our exchange online protection will mark that email as a spoofed so now since we are creating this entry so now whatever the emails coming from uh, salesforce from amol at the rate easyfirstsecurity.com those emails will be get whitelisted and when you see the external means the 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 sender id this and this should be the different and when you click on the internal that sender and recipients are the same domain like it should be the from the within the domain uh, when you click on this 
so but right now i'm creating the external id and uh, creating the allow list so that uh, if any combination of this uh, it will not mark as a spoofed uh, sender or it will not uh, trigger in the spoof category so i'm clicking this add and it will add this entry as uh, just one minute yeah it will add uh, entry like this and you can anytime you can go and edit the entry and you can just if you want you can create a just you can create a block block thing uh, from here also and also you will see if any email uh, in your organization is if it is a marking under the spoof domain or spoof uh, user category sender then you can click on here and it will open spoof intelligence and here you will see all the logs and uh, then you can make a proper decision whether you want to allow uh, any email under the spoof infrastructure id sending infrastructure ip address will be shown here spoofed user uh, and then yeah so you can take the action accordingly and uh, yes and if you manually want to add you need to come here under the spoof sender and you need to add here so this is the small demo uh, regarding spoof sender in next video i am going to cover uh, email authentication how you can create spf dkim dmark record in office 365 or if you have any questions please uh, put them uh, in a below comment box and uh, let me know uh, how it goes if you are facing any problem and the most important thing, please like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>